Wes's ability to just ride those positions out, I mean, that was impressive. So it looks like we are to our championship grappling bouts. Yeah, and this is the welterweight championship. This is Johnny Garcia from Georgetown MMA, which is a team that I'm personally not too familiar with, but uh, I did get to meet the, their head instructor, Black Belt. He's a good friend of Elijah's. Elijah's speaks really high level. Uh, so I'm interested to see how these guys do. I saw them warming up in the back doing some pretty intricate, uh, high-level stuff. So it'll be interesting to see how they get to compete. I know we've got two of them here competing against two of Butch's guys. So those are obviously both good gyms, good instructors. Um, <laughs> and we see uh, Zach Freeman coming up with some interesting music. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> Oh, I, I see what it is. Yes, sir. I'm looking at uh, Eric on the monitor every time whenever he looks at me to, to start the timer. And I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at you, but I'm not looking in the actual direction. I'm looking at the camera. The two on one there for a second from Zach. We see Johnny playing inside collar tie here. Good pummel there. Outside bicep tie action, two on one. We see Zach trying to play that overhook, uh, but nothing doing the elbow too far across. Same thing here, same exact position. Again, kind of looking at that reverse two on one. And Johnny happy to pull into guard right into a Kimura type position, but he loses nice the uh, Kimura, yeah. Uh, good uh, positional awareness by both gentlemen. So Zach almost capitalized on that opportunity, but Johnny was able to relinquish and regard. Uh, we see him playing some kind of inside position here on the against a standing opponent. Oh, and wow. He pulls himself Beautiful. into single leg X, and he may be looking to attack the leg, or he may be looking to come up, but he gets kind of trapped in towards crucifix or towards the back, yeah. And uh, Zach Freeman is on the uh, kind of the Kimura grip here. He's off to the side. We're almost into an arm saddle type position, and now he's in. Bar. Yeah, now he finds himself in the side Jujigatami where he might be able to get the hands separated, and he's able to toss, uh, but he loses the position. Johnny does a good job Great defending that, scrambling. defending that armbar by rolling through and then making sure that he comes out all the way uh, instead of ending up uh, stuck there in the spider web. And we see Freeman uh, looking towards a knee bar. There, oh, I he, think he tapped. He tapped, but he it, was, it was something on the on the inside leg. It wasn't even the uh, the leg that it looked like he was knee bar. And I'm not sure if he had a toe hold grip on that or exactly what happened there. I'm interested to see if. if uh, I couldn't quite see exactly what the submission was there. I was watching on the knee bar side to see if he was going to go for a, like an over wrap, you know, the, the uh, shotgun grip knee bar where you put it in your armpit. But, uh, the winner of the fight and the new welterweight grappling champion by via submission due to trouble, Zach Rio! I'm here with your winner, Zach Freeman, ladies and gentlemen. Zach, how does it feel to be crowned NLC Welterweight Grappling Champion? It feels awesome, man. I'd like to thank the Tiles and the gym that's coming during this match. 
by one, um, taking a short notice, and I'm um, very happy to be here, and looking forward to having more matches. So when can we uh, look forward to seeing you get in here and defend this stuff? About two months? Hey, you heard the man, Keith. Zach Ruby, ladies and gentlemen.